Hello, it is your boy, the Tammy Meatball here. I'm um, back in the video, and uh, I'm sorry for not uploading all that much. I'm busy with school. Um, anyway, today I'll be showing you how to hold knife. This is knife. There's a bit of garlic on it because I'm making ramen. Um, I'm making topic, topping. Um, anyway, to hold knife, you want to hold it like this. Okay? This band aid is from a different, separate thing not involving a knife. Um, you want to hold it like this to stabilize the knife when you hold the knife when you're cutting like that. Okay. You also want to hold it like this to also stabilize the knife. There's a lot of different ways to hold a knife. You don't want to hold it like this because you, you're going to start cutting it like this. Not, that's not the best stable way to hold the knife. You want to kind of hold it like this. If you play tennis, uh, this is... This is roughly the way you hold a tennis racket. Okay? This is also a great way to hold a whiplet. Let me get that out. Like this. You want to hold the whipper. Not like this. Like this. Uh, this might work, but you want to hold it like this. And then you want to hold the bowl uh, adjacently to the tip of the whipper. And then just do this, mostly with your wrists. You can also use your, your arm along with that, but when you're not used to it, just use your wrist. Okay? Okay, now back to the knife. Okay? Uh, to this type of knife, there's usually about two types. Um, there's, a, there's this western type of knife. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me put this up. And the, this type of knife with the holes. And some Western types do have little, uh, either holes or little uh, bumps on them. Like that. Now, the reason for these bumps and holes is so that they release air pressure when you, when you're cutting wet foods like uh, like cucumber, um, zucchini and stuff like that, and that uh, helps it release the air and it doesn't it really helps um, when the the thing you're cutting doesn't stick to the knife. Anyway, so this is the other type of knife. This is called a santoku knife. It's uh, to recognize the type of knife. Well, the Santoku knife usually has this, the curve on the top, and a straight edge or a slightly curved edge on the bottom. Okay. Uh, when you are cutting, you want to either use the flat, you want to put the flat of the blade on the flat of your fingers like this so that you don't cut your fingers. You never want to hold it like this because you will probably cut your fingers. You wanna hold it like this, like this, and go down, like this. If you are afraid of the, the blade still, you can go a little further and just hold it like this and then you can control the, the thing you're cutting. And now the reason why you wanna stabilize both the knife and the thing you're holding is because what if it's round and it rolls away? That's very dangerous, you don't wanna cut yourself doing that. Um, you can also not only do this, you can also just use the tip of your finger, just your, just your fingernail like this, but make sure you're not holding it like this. You want to hold it kind of like this, so that your fingernail is straight downwards, and, and then use this as a leverage point. Well, that's not focused at all, but uh, Yeah, you wanna you wanna be cutting. You wanna be cutting like this, uh, like this, so that there's less friction between your finger and the blade. One of the only times you'll be uh, holding the knife like this, or like this, 
Oh, this is a little more dangerous for you because of the blades. You want to hold it, hold it in a way that the blade is facing away from you. Okay. It, it, it is uh, not when you're killing someone. You're not a, you're not an assassin, man. You're not an assassin. You want to hold it like this when you're uh, stabbing with with this uh, sharp tip of the knife into something like a watermelon or um, or a pumpkin. Because those things are really hard, really round stuff. In those cases, you want to just just grip it tightly like this. When you're uh, cutting something small, like uh, like maybe a, a small tomato or uh, some some cloves of garlic, uh, you can do the normal method, or you, or the way I do it is just I hold it on the side and then just make sure I don't cut touch my fingers. I just do that, and then flip it over that and. Oh, it totally depends on how you want to cut it. I wanted to cut it like that. Yeah, and so... Um... Yeah, that's how to use a knife. Um... Oh. Well, that's the basics of how to use a knife. It's, uh, great to know how to cook. Because it saves budget. A lot of budget. Like... If you are going outside every day to get yourself a, uh, a ten dollar meal at some restaurant it's way cheaper to just have all the ingredients because you buy it all at once and you will have you will definitely have less um, money you're spending okay so just it's always great to know how to cook, and it's always how to. It's always great how to hold a knife, because you don't hurt yourself. And uh, hospital bills suck. In America, at least. Okay. See ya.